My brothers, the month of Ramadan, regardless of what anyone tells you, it's the month of forgiveness. It's the month of Rahmah. It's the month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He orders the gates of the hellfire to be closed and the doors of Jannah to be opened. My brothers, wallahi, all year round I've had shortcomings. This is my opportunity to correct things. This is my opportunity to really make a change. This month is the opportunity for the worst person in the world, the worst, the absolute, the biggest criminal in the world, this is his opportunity to become of the greatest people with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the month where dreams become true. Wallahi they do for those that invest. So my brothers and sisters, I do not want you to waste this month. This is my chance to make it up, man. Don't waste it. And my brothers and sisters, I have to leave you with this warning. It's harsh, but I have to leave you with it. Otherwise, I feel like I've done injustice towards my message. Yes, it's a beautiful month. Yes, it's the month of forgiveness. Yes, it's the month of giving. Yes, it's the month of Quran and Ibadah and Salah and charity. Yes. But there's a big warning, my brothers and sisters. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wasallam, who had rahmah in his heart. Imagine this is a man who had rahmah in his heart towards his enemies. This same man, this same man, my brothers, stood in his own masjid in front of Sahaba and said, May he be disgraced. May he be disgraced. May his nose be rubbed in the dirt in humiliation. Brother, he buckled. Sahaba started shaking. Allahu Akbar, you, Ya Rasulullah, you're cursing a man like this? But he didn't curse your enemies. So they asked whom, O Prophet of Allah? He says, the man that lives to see Ramadan and lives out the days of Ramadan and finishes Ramadan and doesn't have his sins forgiven by Allah, may this man be disgraced. 